All right, I'm going to show you guys how you can make a bar that fills up, like a progress bar, you could say. And just like this, it fills up. And once it finished, it will go back to the beginning and starts again. And another one where you have to sit in it for it to start and making progress. And once it like fills up, just like the other one, it will continue again and it will keep doing it as long as you're sitting there. And once you get off, it will stop and you get back on, it will restart from the beginning. And the last one is one with like a function. So once it finished filling up, you can make it do certain actions. So for this one, I have it uh, spawn a part in front of you and also give you a point. So just like that, you can also customize it to do whatever you like. But for me, I made it spawn a point and also give me, I mean, I made it spawn a part and I also made it uh, give me a point each time it finishes. All right, and to begin, I will start with making the part and the billboard GUI. So just go ahead and make a part out of billboard GUI and we're gonna add a frame. And on the billboard GUI, we're going to put the uh, offset to like five and make the size uh, scale five offset zero the y scale one offset zero there we go and for the frame we're gonna make the size one and zero up to one and zero one and zero so it fits perfectly in the uh the word gui and let's see next thing we're gonna do is add in a text label we're gonna call this bar it's essentially going to be the you know progress bar we're going to use. I'm going to make the background color on this one green. Also on the build UI, you can turn the light influence to zero to make light really shine. And let's see, bar, we're going to, let's see, get rid of the text label. And I think that's it. Okay, size is one. Also, yeah, we also gotta make the size one and zero as well. So one and zero. There we go. And let's see. And you can just play around with the numbers because you're gonna see how uh, it's done in a bit. But I'm gonna put my two point five, and we're gonna make another frame. I'm just gonna let's see. Uh, let's see. We're gonna frame. I'm gonna call this one the label. Essentially what we're gonna use. Uh, size also gonna be one, zero, one, zero. Let's see, and we're gonna uh, enable text scale. I'm gonna use this uh, font for mine. I'm gonna name it progress. All right, I'm gonna make the color white and turn off the text stroke transparency for mine and I'm also going to add a UI padding where the left and right uh, scale is going to be point let's see point three and the padding on the right point three just so it can be in the middle and you can see it all right I think that's good let's see also for label make sure the background transparency is zero I mean I have one so you can actually see the bar that's behind it all right, and I'm just gonna move this up and anchor it. And the next thing we're gonna do is add in our local script. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna grab all the instances. So like, get the part, the billboard GUI, frame, bar, and label. And the next thing we're gonna need is local. I like to call my TS for tween service. So game, get service, tween service. All right, and we're gonna call our tween service fill bar, and we're gonna do tween service create, and it's gonna be the bar that we're moving, making animation on tween name full dot new. Uh, we're gonna put give like five seconds uh, to run the animation. Easing in them the easing style is gonna be linear at a constant rate. And then direction, it's gonna be in. All right, and we want this to repeat, so negative one. And let's see, what else? Okay, and that's it. And we're gonna do uh, 
the property, which is going to be size equals you dim that new. And how we want it to finish is at zero, uh, uh, one, zero, one, and zero, uh, which is like, this is at uh, 0.5 for the X scale. So what we want to look, what we want the bar to look like at the end is like completely filled. So like this, and uh, we're gonna put it to zero for starting and let's see. All right, after we have that, we're gonna do fill bar play. And you can go ahead and play and it'll like keep filling up after it finish. It'll start again and it'll do that infinitely. Okay, and there you go. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, next part is uh, as I shown you uh, with the seat. So I'm gonna cl cl uh, just duplicate this and I'm gonna add a seat. I'm just gonna move the seat to like over here. And I'm going to show the face so I know which way it's facing. So it's essentially where, uh, which way the player is going to be facing once they sit on this. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see. All right. And for this one, it's, oops, it's basically this, everything's basically almost the same. And so what we're going to do is do local seat equals part that seat and we're going to do we're going to get rid of this we're just going to do seat get property change signal for occupant that changed i mean i dot connect function and if seat dot occupant which means if it's fill like someone's sitting on it we're going to do a fill bar play and then like the player gets off we're gonna do fill bar cancel or we can do pause however you like so i'll show you this so play oh uh this looks like we got a error connect oh it's a semicolon instead of a period so click play and let's see once we sit here, it's going to start doing the animation. It's going to start filling up. And once it's done, it'll keep like doing that forever as long as you're sitting. And once you get up, it'll like stop. And once you sit back down, it'll start from the beginning again. And just a little bit, some just a something a little bit extra. If you want it to like clear, make it like uh, clear the bar progress after it's after you get off, this is what you would add in, which basically clears the bar progress and put it back to zero. So as you can see, click play and you sit down, it starts once you get off, it'll clear the progress and once you get back on, it will start all over again. All right, and moving on to the last one with the function, uh, I'm, this is how I did it, but you probably can find a better way. But this is how I did mine. Let's see. Everything's basically the same. Uh, let's see. So what I did was... Um, let's see. So once uh, the player sits on it, it's going to play. And once it get off, it'll cancel. And we're going to do another if seat the occupant then we're gonna add a repeat uh do task dot delay five second add a function if seat the occupant we're gonna do is uh you know how i made mine like part uh show up after each after five seconds once it's finished in replicated storage you can add in a part and just leave it there and you can do something like local clone equals game that replicated storage that part and you can clone it and clone that C frame equals C that C frame plus vector three that new eight six zero this is basically gonna make it show up eight studs in front of you and six studs up 
I'm going to clone that parent equals workspace. And that's that. And else we can do, we're going to make it print like uh, empty C for the printing. Right? Let's see, what's this? Okay, right, until. Uh, this is gonna re keep repeating until see the occupant, which means uh, no one is long no longer sitting there, and we're also gonna add a tax that wait five seconds, or else it will just keep running this and crash the game. So go, and if you were to go sit here after five seconds, it'll you know print apart. Oh, it. Print it on my left, but yeah, <laughs> you get the you get the idea. So yeah, after each five seconds, it'll print, and if you were to leave in the middle of it, it won't print anything, but it'll print out the empty seat down in the console, or it can make it do something. All right, and that's that. Uh, I guess I can also show you the uh, points for it as well, which is just pretty simple. You just make a script and server script service I'm gonna make my name it server and I'm just gonna do local player players equals game get service players add in players that player added connect function add in player in the parameter and we can do local leader stats equals instant not new uh, string value leader stats that name equals leader leader stats leader stats that uh parent is gonna be the player and we're going to put the point I'm gonna name it point and since that new int value points that name equals point points that value equals zero points that parent equals leader stats Oops, there we go. And in the script, to make it like give you point, we're gonna do, we're gonna get the player, which is gonna be uh, game that players get from character, and we're gonna do seat that occupant that parent, which is gonna grab the player model. And we can do player that leader stats that points that value plus equals one so it will go up each each time it's done filling up so every five seconds all right and we just wait for this and there we go every five seconds every time the progress bar fills up you'll get one point and it will also spawn a part you can also customize this do uh, other stuff apart from this but yeah this is my example and thanks for watching